for Rubain Ali and her nine-year-old daughter, Zara Hassan. The newest mural in Brooklyn, which features two women wearing hijabs, not only represents who they are, it also reflects their culture and religion. And how about you? How does it make you feel when you see this? Powerful. Seriously, they talk about hijabis, and I feel like they talk about me. So I feel so proud of myself being a hijabi woman. The mural entitled Hijabi Queens was unveiled on Sunday at the corner of Coney Island and Ditmas Avenues in Brooklyn's Little Pakistan neighborhood. It was painted by Natasha May Platt and honors Muslim women who wear hijabs, the Islamic head covering. Farzine Hussein Wasti and Assad Wasti own the building the mural sits on. We have never seen anything like this in the neighborhood. Um, and there are a lot of hate crimes here. Um, and we do, and a lot of them go unreported. Um, and they happen to women that uh, practice the head covering. The Wastis say they commissioned the art after seeing three similar murals in Los Angeles. All of them feature images from an NFT collection owned by Carter Zahir and Doha Al Hawamde. The couple says the goal of the collection is to inspire people to not only tolerate those who wear hijabs, but to actually accept them. People kind of have their misconceptions inside. They may not harass you about them. They may not vocalize them, abuse you about them, but they hold them and it shows. Celebrating a hijabi woman means that these people don't even have those stereotypes to begin with. They see you, they see your soul, they see the human in you. Al Hawamde grew up in the Bronx. She says having images like these growing up would have reduced her experiences of bullying. She hopes the art encourages other young Muslim girls to be confident in who they are. Zara Hassan says it's already done just that. I don't feel scared anymore. And I right now I'm a hijabi princess, but when I grow up, I'll be a hijabi queen. The owners of the mural are encouraging people to come down here to Brooklyn to check it out for themselves. And while you're here, they want you to scan the QR code that's located on the mural so you can learn more about the initiative. They're hoping doing so will inspire other New Yorkers to commission many more murals, just like this one throughout the city. In Kensington, Brooklyn, Kieran Dillon, Pix11 News.